Back on the right stand with news just coming through where it is confirmation. Our investigation editor Manoj Gupta getting us the confirmation that the NIA will take over the Praveen Nataru murder case after the state government decided given the interstate nature of the case that they would hand over the case to the NIA. The NIA will now take over the Praveen Nataru murder case. This is what top sources within the National Investigation Agency are telling CNN News 18. The case will be taken under the UAPA. The murder has interstate ramifications and the murder has suspected involvement of the PFI and SDPI Carter. Now, the information is also said that uh, given the uh, modus operandi and the gruesome nature of the crime, there is uh, uh, other aspects will also be noted or other aspects will also be considered. The NIA feels that this is a case which is fit to be uh, uh, investigated under the NIA Act of 2008. Now, the information that we have is that so far, two people have been arrested from Kerala and both of them have links with the Popular Front of India. There also needs further uh, deeper probe into other aspects, including the purpose or motive behind the murder and also the financial aspect. Harish now joining us with more details. So after Basavraj Bombay said they will want to hand over the case to the NIA, the NIA now top sources within the NIA saying NIA will take over the case. Yes, uh, remember the state government is currently under the process of uh, officially requesting the union government and the NIA to take over this case. Mm -hmm. uh, but NIA making it clear that they would soon begin a probe into this under the UAPA Act. And uh, as Dr. Rajkumar had pointed out earlier, uh, this is no longer just a uh, one-off incident or a one-off murder. Uh, they see uh, organized crime and there are interstate ramifications. Uh, remember some of these suspects have been picked up are uh, from... Uh, neighboring state of Kerala, they're from Kasargo district in Kerala and the state police would find it difficult to crack it. That's the reason NIA's help has been sought and they're also feeling the NIA feels that it's a fit case to be probed under the NIA Act of uh, 2008 as well. And uh, remember, already one person and his wife, in fact, one of the suspect's wife has already made it clear that uh, he was a member of PFI and SCPI actively mm. involved in the so-called social work of SCPI. And uh, perhaps the NIA would want to probe the financial, the larger conspiracy angle here as well, mm. because the state believes that there is a larger conspiracy. This was well, the, the family has also alleged the same. Family and friends of Praveen Nataru have also alleged that there were uh, other ram other indications that there was a certain amount of change that was being brought about. There was a business angle and also about perhaps who holds sway or control over the meat business. That is what the brother uh, or the, uh, beg your pardon, the friend of Praveen Nataru had alleged. But the gruesome murder, the, the motive, uh, the real motive and are there other underlying layers? These will all be investigated now by the NIA who, are, sir, who now we are given to understand will be formally taking over the case very soon. Harish Upadhyay, thank you for your inputs. With that, we call it a wrap on this edition of The Right Stand. Zakar ready with Brass Tag.